Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah. All right, guys. This video is mad nerdy. I have a lot of information here. This is basically gun running business completely broke down. It's a buyer's guide. It explains everything. I go through all the details. I let you know about how much uh, money is being made, how it's made, the amount of time it takes to make it, the research, everything involved. I go through all that. It's lightning and thundering out here. I apologize if you hear that. But please, subscribe to my channel for the Ills Reels content. The game makes you smash. Everybody's supposed to smash that like button. All right, so let's get right into it. First and foremost, um, Aragung Haas, okay? I'm going to give you big credit, big shout out for this guy and a couple other people too. Thank you so much for compiling all this information. I'm just the messenger. These guys did all the work, okay? But let me bring it to you. Let's start out with supplies. Resupply. The supply bar is 100 units wide, okay? And the MC was divided by into five sections of 20 each, okay? To, res to resupply, once can simply buy supplies, all right? So 15K per 20 units, they did 75,000 for a full bar. Or the supplies can be stolen. We all know that. The steel missions can be rather simple, like pick up a van and lose one star, or they can be very complex, like raid the humane labs, pick up some special cargo from deep inside, or airlift a tank from Fort Zancudo. Most supply missions can be done solo, but some of the more difficult ones would be better with at least one associate, unless you're me, a straight boss. Uh, <laughs> supplies are picked up in 20 unit bundles. For every associate, there is a chance of getting multiple 20 unit bundles. These are usually indicated by two plus circles on the lower right side of the screen. And there is a bug that sometimes keeps the stock from showing up. What you want to do is go into your uh, your disruption logistics laptop and, and switch back and forth from assigning your uh, staff from here or there. And that usually helps out, okay? All right, so supply usage. When staff is assigned solely to production, the supplies are used at these rates. No upgrades, one unit every 60 seconds, partially upgraded, one unit every 72 seconds, which I believe is when you split it between research and then, you know, manufacturing. And then fully upgraded, one unit every 84 seconds. No upgrades to borrow, deplete every 100 minutes or one hour and 40 minutes. Fully upgraded, the borrow, deplete every 140 minutes or two hours and 20 minutes. And that, that helps you because it's either A, less times you have to go resupply it, and B, less times you have to pay for it, okay? Um, now next to stock, stock generation. The bunker can hold 100 units of stock. Stock is created over time. A bunker with no upgrades will create one unit of stock every 10 minutes. The bunker will be full in 1,000 minutes or 16 hours and 40 minutes. Okay? Uh, a fully upgraded bunker will create one unit of stock every 7 minutes. The bunker will be full in 700 minutes or 11 hours and 40 minutes. So basically every 11 hours and 40 minutes you can sell your, your bunker, your, your full warehouse or whatever. Okay? And unlike the CEO, there is no advantage to selling in large quantities as the value does not go up with more stock okay so all right selling stock stock selling missions are very much like mc sell missions but with meriwether usually involved stock sales for 1.5 uh, bonus in los santos versus blaine so blaine county is less than los santos amount of stock versus how many vehicles you used to deliver this is important one to 25 units one vehicle 26 to 50 units one to two vehicles 51 to 75 two to three vehicles 76 plus is three to four vehicles, okay? And you usually only have 15 minutes, so I would probably sell around 50 units or less. So half bar or less, okay? All right, going forward, research, this is important. What your team decides the research is random. There is no way to influence this. There are 100 units of research to unlock each upgrade. Research points, no bunker upgrades, one unit of research generated every 300 seconds or five minutes. Fully researched in 500 minutes or eight hours and 20 minutes, okay? A fully upgraded bunker is one unit of research is generated every 210 seconds or three minutes and 30 seconds. All right. Fully researched in 350 minutes, five hours and 50 minutes. So a full research, research bar will be done in five hours and 50 minutes if you have max upgrades. All right. Now, research supplies. Bunker with no upgrades takes one supply unit every 150 seconds or two minutes and 30 seconds. Fully drain the supplies in 250 minutes or four hours and 10 minutes. All right, so a bunker with full upgrades uses one supply unit every 210 seconds, three minutes, 30 seconds. Fully drain the supplies in 350 minutes or five hours and 50 minutes. So basically, if you have a full upgrade, one full bar of supplies will equal one full research bar. And that's important whether or not you want to buy it or steal your supplies, okay? 
Now, all this information that's coming up next is just a few things I want, to, want you guys to look at. It was brought to us by L131. Okay, once again, thank you so much for you guys' effort and research and doing this. I really do appreciate it. The community appreciates it. So thank you guys very much, all right? There's a few things I want you to look at. So to get these max upgrades in your bunker to create this stuff very efficiently and quickly, which I do think is worth it, is going to cost you a lot. It's 1.155 million for the equipment upgrades, and for the staff upgrades, it's 598,500. Okay, and then the security doesn't really influence it, but I mean either way. So you're looking at close to two million for these upgrades. Okay, and if you look down below here, it tells you what the max amount is for Los Santos versus Blaine County: 1,050,000 versus 700,000. So it's definitely it's a three hundred thousand dollar difference. It's worth it. Here's shout outs and, and uh, credit for the rest of the people that contributed to these uh, articles and things like that. You guys, everybody, thank you so much for this. It really does, you know, make a big difference. Okay, so now that we know how the business works and if you are deciding whether or not to buy it, let's look at some of these locations and, and you know and see what they're all about. Okay, so I'm I already bought mine. It was for two point one two million. And that's all you have to spend. That is all you have to spend to make money, okay? Now, you can go for a bunker style. There's like, you know, this gives you paint, interior. It's not that big of a deal. It's nothing. It's, it's, it's kind of lame, I think, really. And it will cost you up to $290,000, all right? But you can do that if you'd like, and that's how much it costs. You got personal quarters. You don't have to have. Only thing that personal quarters does is lets you spawn into the bunker if you want to. If that's your thing, you can add that. That's $265,000. Then you got the shooting range. The shooting range will not help you make money. It does not give you anything monetarily, but it does give you challenges to unlock clothing and, and be able to hold extra throwable explosives. But it is a pain in the ass, trust me. I've already been through it. Uh, I'm not even all the way done with it. But it is something fun. But that'll set you back 740000 I Unless you, I mean, I would make the money up, up to 845000 actually. I would make the money first before you got that. A gun locker, you don't have to have. It just gives you a weapon loadout, and you probably already got one from CEO. That'll set you back 175000 And then transportation, you do not have to have any of this. You can actually get around much quicker uh, just by moving around and stuff like that and running around than in these golf carts. But if you do buy a golf cart, get the Caddy 1. They're shorter, and they're easier to maneuver and things like that. It's much, much better. It really is. Okay, seriously, trust me on this. It's way, way better. Uh, than the than the larger ones and you save some money all right but none of that stuff you have to have and that adds on an extra million dollars over a million 1.5 actually you know so you just don't need that stuff you really don't okay so i know the bunkers are kind of confusing all right so i want to give you a little tutorial on how to move around them your main door will be a big colored door or some kind of it'll be red or whatever color it is for your schematic it's your main door to get to your computer just turn around run backwards right here not backwards but you know just take immediate right turn around Pass that toolbox right there, immediate left, and you'll come up to your computer where you can start your sale or, or supply missions. Really easy, okay? Now, if you want to find your MOC, you know, just use the, the door as a reference point, okay? That's your big red door or whatever color door that you have, and just one run directly to the back. And as you see, I got the golf carts, but I don't use them. They're, it's just, they're too cumbersome and they're slow. It's an upgrade you don't have to have. And bam, here's your MOC. And this guy back here uh, is where you can modify it, just like you would modify a regular vehicle. You can have all the performance upgrades and things like that. Uh, you're good to go. Now, back at the door, if you want to find your shooting range, you run like you're going towards your MOC, and you take your first right, just like this. And you have to get your golf carts in between those things. It's just dumb. I, it's, it's not, you don't need that stuff. And go all the way back. Now, there are other ways to get through there. You know, the, the bunkers are like a maze. But this is just a very basic, easy way. And once you get comfortable, you figure out your own ways to go around there and stuff like that. So go to the end of the hallway, take a right, and bam, you're at your gun range. And there you go. It's really cool, okay? So next up, let's look at the locations. These are the locations I would recommend to buy, okay? The first one is 2.290,000. Uh, 2, and I'll tell you why I'd recommend it. I'm going to take you there and show you. Nobody else does this, okay? I'm going to show you. This is the bunker location. It's wide open. It's got an easy, nice area to land at right here. And it's right by a major highway. This is on the east side of the map, okay? And this is the main highway that goes around the whole entire map. So it's a good location. It's a little bit more expensive. So it may not, and people, I, I, I never see a lot of people over here. So it's not a very popular location, which may be good for you. But don't worry about the population. There's only 11 bunkers. There's always going to be people around, okay? There's, you can't get away from that. 
All right. Now the next location is 2,205,000 and it's right next to the first location I just showed you. It's the Smoke Tree Road Bunker. All right. It's right next to it. Uh, it's wide open. It's, you got road access right here. It's a little bit off the main highway. I'm, I, that, that telephone pole kind of bugs me right there when you bring a chopper in. You know, me and, and telephone poles and power line structures don't get along very well. Uh, but it's still a nice open area. It's kind of hidden behind those rocks right there. Uh, and it's not that bad, okay? Same location. The next one is 1,950,000. It's very central to the map. It's in the middle. And what you don't realize is that it's actually on the main highway that cuts through the middle of the map. You just It's kind of hard to tell right there, but it's, that's the main road. It kind of connects everything. It's that one right there. It goes from east to west. And it's one straight road. It goes all the way through. And our next location is 1,650,000. It's the uh, Chumash Bunker, probably the most popular and honestly probably is tied with the best location, okay? It really is. It's got a great uh, landing area. It's right next to a main highway, the Del Piro Highway. It's right over here. It's, like, it's the closest one to the center of the city. It's got a great view, but a lot of people have this one because of the price range and the location, but still, that doesn't matter, okay? It's about making money. You can still find solo public lobbies. There's plenty of ways to do that. You got your gun range. You got clothing. You got tattoo, gas station, all right there. It's really nice, okay? The last location is the Polito Forest Bunker. Most people are like, Ty, why are you picking this one? Well, for one, it's the cheapest. And what is this all about? Making money, right? And this actually isn't that bad. Even though it's surrounded by the trees, it still has a decent landing area. It's not that bad. You can get in there pretty easy, especially if you're using a buzzard, which I'd recommend you always be a CEO to use a buzzard. And uh, you can come in there, and it's really nice area. It's beautiful scenery. It's all, It's right off the main highway. It's really not that bad. Yeah, it's up north, but you know, it's it, once again, you take the good with the bad. But it's it's not it's it's not as bad as some of the other ones. Plus, you have a, a mod shop. You've got all your tattoo. You got everything else over there. You know, guns, all that good stuff. All right. So those are some of the locations that I would recommend. Um, there's a lot of information. I hope you guys go back and read this. Uh, everything else is kind of, you know, just bland with the location wise. Those are the ones I'd recommend. Those are the ones that'll give you the most advantages to make the most money for some reason or another. Don't worry about population. People are going to be there regardless. Okay. I hope this helped out. Let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest reals content. The game makes you smash. I mean, smash that like button and stay dangerous. Peace.